Hi everybody, this is Rich with RB Outdoors. We're having a very cold spring. Uh, decided to come in the woods and just a few miles from my house and uh, I want to do uh, two reviews for you today. Uh, the first one is going to be on the Silky Big Boy 2000. I've had this for over a year now. I take this with me backpacking. Um, I, I do have some specs, I'll go over it here shortly. But I gotta tell you, I've had quite a few hand saws and this one is at the top of my list. So the second review kind of goes right in junction with our saw. And I have the Lexada Large Titanium Wood Burning Stove right here. We're gonna set this up, we're gonna cut some wood with the saw, and we're gonna do a boil test. I'm gonna get it going. I'm going to boil approximately two cups of water because that's usually the amount you need for your freeze-dried food. So that's why I chose two cups of water. And we're going to see how long it takes roughly to boil two cups of water so you can have it for your freeze-dried food. So let's get to cutting some wood. Okay, before we get cutting, I'll give you a couple specs. The whole saw weighs one pound, which is pretty light for a good saw this size. The blade itself is just a little over 14 inches. You can buy replacement blades for it. You just unloosen this nut here, pull this out, and put a new blade in. Like I said, I've had this for over a year. I am super impressed with what this thing could cut. Just found the log. We're going to kind of time myself. I'm going to cut a couple pieces here and see how long it takes me. And um, I actually brought a little tape measure to kind of check the diameter of the log here. And this is a pretty good standard log that you'd probably use, you know, for making firewood or bushcraft to make your lean-to or anything like that. But uh, let's, uh, let's get to cutting and see how long it takes me to cut through. Okay, I just set a stopwatch on my phone. I'm going to cut two uh, chunks and let's just see how long... Uh, it takes us and I'm not going to be in any kind of hurry I'm going to cut like I would normally cut just a nice leisurely cut all right here we go I got 32 seconds, it actually was at 29 time I took when I took my glove off. So we'll just round it up to 30 seconds. And let's check out the diameter. So this is, wow, it's exactly three inches. So 30 second log, three inches, that's not bad. And you can see I wasn't working that hard. The unique thing about this saw it mainly cuts on the back stroke because it's much easier to pull back than forward and you can really see the dust fly as you're pulling back. So I'm going to cut another one and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see these teeth at action. If you notice on the back stroke is when the sawdust starts to fly. Not too much pressure. You can saw a lot of wood with very little effort with this thing. It's a very unique tooth pattern. And I gotta tell you, you can see it cuts through three inch wood in less than 30 seconds. And now we're actually even getting a little bit bigger. Okay, the Big Silky 2000. I got this on Amazon. It was right around 68 bucks. And I gotta tell you, I've owned three or four other different brands of hand saws and this one by far, by far, super easy, cuts wood easy, and only being a pound, 
if you're doing a lot of bushcrafting and backpacking, well worth it. Well worth it. Plus, like I said, you can buy a replacement blade uh, when it gets dull. Highly recommend the Big Boy Silky 2000. Okay, part two of this review. And here it is. Here's the Lixada stove. I did end up getting the large titanium. Um, I'll give you some specs on it here in just a minute, but I just kind of want to show you kind of what it looks like. Now I've, I've only used this um, three times. And I did a snow cave. I built a snow cave and stayed in it during a winter storm warning. You can check that in one of my last videos I just did here about a month and a half ago. And I used this to cook a uh, cast iron ribeye tequila uh, ribeye steak. And it worked quite well. And I also boiled water for my coffee in the morning. Um, this thing can hold a lot of weight. Um, like I said, but we're just going to boil water in it. Two cups. Just to see how long it takes. Let me get you some specs on this. This was also from Amazon. Um, goes together quite easily once you do it the first time. Um, it basically has these little hinges right here and they just all interlock. This is your main chute here. You've got some nice ventilation for airflow here. These are like your main support. Uh, like I said, I had a 12 inch cast iron pan on here and this thing held up just fine. But you can cook with your canteens or any other little pot that you want. So let's get to boiling some water. And the neat thing about this stove, literally I just picked up these sticks right around this old fire pit, put a little of my homemade fire starter in there, lit it. I mean you don't even really need a saw. But we're going to get this going and we're going to do our test. And as you can see, I don't need to blow anything. It's got these great air vents all around the sides. And you just literally just pick up any stick <laughs> like so. No saw required. You can either feed them through the top or the bottom. So this, I think this is a great stove if you're looking not to like have a, uh, a fire like in this great big pit here. And all you want to do is cook, get your hands warm. Um, it's portable. I do recommend, because I have used this in the snow a couple times, um, I actually put it on it like a sheet pan, because in the snow, obviously, it's going to get hot and just, you know, fall through the bottom. Um, but the sheet pan actually worked quite well when I cooked my steak and uh, boiled water for my coffee. considering you don't have to pack any fuel and like I said unless you want to pack a saw any twigs pine cones you know if all you're doing is cooking uh, you know soup or top ramen or freeze-dried meals um, not too bad because the fuel is laying all over the ground no matter where you live well maybe except the desert but uh, but even then, it'd probably work on sagebrush and stuff like that. Um, like I said, this is an early review. This is my fourth time using it. Um, I am going to be using it a lot this summer. I'll probably do a second review at the end of the season. But so far, pretty impressed. Um, let's just see how long it takes to boil two cups of water. So I just grabbed one of my old camping pots. I got two cups of water in here because that is about the average you would use for a freeze-dried meal. So um, I'm going to set this on here and I'm going to set the stopwatch again and see how long it takes. All right, everybody. We are at five minutes and 49 seconds and I noticed we have some movement. Not quite a full boil yet, but we're getting close. Six minutes right now. We have boilage. <laughs> Seven minutes, 10 seconds on the nose. And we got a full, big boil. So again, two cups. 
if you needed to, you know, if your water source was questionable and you didn't have a filter and you needed to boil some water for drinking, two cups, it's going to take you about seven minutes. Depending, of course, on the wood, ambient air temperature. I'm in some windy conditions right now, cold. I mean, last time I checked, it was 37 degrees. So, of course, in the summertime, this would probably be a little bit quicker. But, you know, for free fuel and not have to cut it, pack it, buy it, um, not too bad. Like I said, it's pretty cold. Um, so if I had a freeze-dried meal right now, I'd have two cups. I could pour it in and have myself a lunch if I brought some. <laughs> what I didn't. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed these uh, short reviews. Like I said, I had to get out of the house and uh, just get out in the woods. But uh, anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be doing a lot more uh, reviews on all of our backpacking and camping. Um, like I said, this was just a real quick one that I've been wanting to do, especially on the saw, because I think that thing, that thing is, man, it just helps so much, especially in the back country when you're trying to cut firewood and, and you, you know, you're not, you don't have a chainsaw or anything like that. So once again, this is Rich for RV Outdoors, and we will see you soon. Mm -hmm.